What's going on guys? Welcome back to Goshen's Games. Welcome back to another Sword Art Online Alicization Rising Steel video. Or as my buddy FG says, it's a uh, government name. <laughs> I actually like that he says that. It's kind of funny. Anyways, today's topic. Okay, I asked you guys on my community tab, what would you like me to cover in upcoming videos? If you guys don't pay attention to my community tab, you should pay attention to my community tab because I ask you things like this from time to time. So, some of you guys gave me some good responses. Some of you guys gave me some not so good responses because you guys, you guys are trolls sometimes. So, we're going to cover one of the topics that somebody asked me to cover because I thought it was a good idea because I haven't actually covered this and not i haven't seen anybody else cover this in detail either so we're going to talk about the link system and the speed system basically a combat guide or in-depth combat guide to link and speed and the reason why we're going to talk about this is because speed is probably one of the most important stats on a character and the reason being is because it allows those characters to go first or multiple times before an enemy can attack. So, we're going to take a look at a couple of characters just to give an example of a fast character and an example of a slow character so you guys can kind of understand where your characters might sit or your favorite characters might sit or where your parties might sit. And then once we jump into combat, we'll talk a little bit more about the speed system and we will discuss the linking system, the way that links work and the reason why you want to do them as much as possible and what would be the instances where you would break your links. So let's take a look at the characters. We're going to look at Leafa first. Why? Because the two fastest characters currently in the game are Leafa and Yuki. I want to say the OG ones, because I don't know when you're watching this video, because, I mean, things will change going down the line. But as of me recording this video, the two fastest characters are Leafa and Yuki. Now, I have both of them at level 95, so one more limit, uh, one more limit break, and they will com be completely done. Uh, also, also, asshole. Wow, I can't believe I just, like, let that slip like that. Also, <laughs> as of recording this video, there are no items or equipment, I should say, that increases speed. Okay, so with that being said, we're going to take a look at Leafa. As you can see, I mean, you can't really see because I have to make the video small over right here. But her speed at level 95 is sitting at uh, 330. At level 80, it is 318. She shares, once leveled up, she shares the same speed with Yuki. So we're going to take a look at Yuki so you can see 330 right there. Again, it's small for you guys, but that's what her speed is. Trust me when I say that. So those would be those are examples of the fastest characters that are currently available in the game. Now, with that being said, where do other characters fall into the speed aspect of things? Well, if you look at Alice, who's level 100 for me, Alice is kind of average for speed. Sitting at 316 in PvP, she is going to be outsped by Leafa and killed by Leafa. Just a little FYI. My Leafa can one-shot Alice if, you know, usually if they have equal gear or close to equal gear. And with that being said, if my Leafa attacked my Alice, my Leafa would one-shot my Alice. If you don't believe me, you can see it in my live streams. There's been many a times where I've done that. And there's a reason to it, but I'll get into that in character, uh, character showcases and stuff like that when I showcase Leafa. I've already done a showcase on Alice. You can go ahead and watch the showcase on Alice. I'll go ahead and I'll link it somewhere around here at the end of the video. Now, so let's take a look at another character who I have at level 95, which I think is Tise. Where you at, Tise? Come on, where you at, girl? Where you at? There you are. Tise, level 95. Tise is a little bit on the slower side, sitting at 305 speed at level 95. Which is not not that good, really. I mean, she does a good amount of damage, but when you have free characters who kind of edge her out a little bit. Again, T stays at level 95 currently, not level 100. But when you have free-to-play characters who kind of edge them out or have similar speed, 
Well, that's not that's not really doing you so well in instances such as PvP. Now in PvE is a different story. So if you're running bosses, you're running events and stuff like that, it's a little bit different because the speed aspect of it, while it does still play importance, is not as much of a focus. Alright, so let's back up here for a minute because now I want to take a look at... Oh, and I had Eyepatch Alice there. I want to take a look at Eyepatch Alice, who is sitting at a speed of 304, which, again, would be on the slow side because if you're maxed out on level and your speed is the low 300s, well, that's not doing you any favors, I'm sorry to say. Because now we're going to take a look at Mr. Steal Your Girl Yujio. Whenever I can find him, here he is. Mr. Steal Your Girl Yujio is on the slower side. Which does not help, but the fact that he's a tank does help him. So, again, not a showcase on Mr. Steal Your Girl Yujio here. I don't know why I started calling him that, but I did. And so that's kind of just a thing now. But Steal Your Girl Yujio here, sitting at 303 speed, is on the lower end of the things. So he's going to be outsped by a lot of characters. But, again, he's a tank, so he won't be killed by them quite as easily. Except maybe by Alice. Which, even then, I don't... I don't think, I want to say I don't think she can one-shot him. Maybe she can. Probably, probably she can. Let's look at the, one of the newer characters, Miss Tortellini, who is actually faster than Miss to steal your girl, Yujio. Sitting at level 85, she has 308 speed. She is faster than he is. She has the same HP stat as him, so meaning that she is also a tank. So, in all honesty, if you're running PvP and... You have to choose between Yujio and Miss Tortellini here. I would probably go with Miss Tortellini only because she can she has a little bit faster speed than he does and which edges her out in combat. Now let's take a look at these characters in PvP because that's what we're talking about when it comes to speed. That's where speed makes a difference and kind of shines. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's grab here's one against an Alice. Let's go ahead and click on that. So we're gonna go ahead and fight this. And you're going to see my Leafa is going to go first because that's what she does. So going right here, I'm going to make sure that I don't have auto kick, get auto off. So you can see Leafa is going first. Now I'm going to assault on Alice here because, you know, weakness. And here we go. It should crit. Okay, it didn't crit, but still one shot it. Most of the time she will crit. And the thing is, like I said, I will, I'll go over this more in detail as to why she one shots her. Um, but there is a specific reason why Leafa can one-shot Alice. All right, let's go with Yuki here. Again, Yuki's speed is exactly the same as Leafa. Exactly the same. And the thing, the benefit is that when you're running Leafa, like I said, fast characters, you can use them to take out the powerful characters. Alice is a powerful character. Alice can cause a lot of problems in PvP if you don't take her out. Uh, Ronnie is a common character to use in PvP as well, so... Having Yuki on your team is a good way to take out Ronnie because she outspeeds Ronnie, making her a fantastic choice in PvP. So you can see here right right now, Alice is going to attack, Leaf is gonna survive. But again, I'll go over that in another video. So you can see Tortellini is on the slower end of things, so she's getting outsped by Kirito. Of course, you're going to get outsped by Alice because Alice is max limit broken. But even max limit broken Alice, like I said, got outsped by Yuki and Leafa who are not max limit broken. All right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and try to kill Leafa there. Did we not kill her? I didn't pay attention if I killed her or not. I did kill her. Okay. So now we're just going to take out Kirito. Then we're going to jump into an event. And we're going to look at linking. Alright, done. See, simple enough. But again, PvP is where you need speed. If, as long as you have speed, you're good to go. You don't have to worry about losing against enemies and stuff like that. Unless you absolutely can't overpower them because you're too low level or whatever may be the case. But speed is really important for pvp in this game pretty much just like any game that has pvp right so like they all sh they all share that importance with that speed stat all right so next we're gonna go and you know what let's let's go into this one here. rose garden and we're gonna go into boss battle uh let's go into the 50 level 50 because i don't want it to be a long fight so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna show the importance of linking 
Okay, so in order to do that, I'm not using this team. I am not using this team. Uh, let me switch up Alice and Yuki really quick. Alright, that's fine. Oh, no, you know what? I know I... It's fine. I, I know why I chose Yuki there, but never mind. Never mind. It's fine. Um, okay, so here, we're going to show the importance of linking. He's going to go ahead and summon units or whatever. And what we're going to do is we are going to basic, not basic attack. We're going to chain link assault attacks. Okay, so as you chain link assault attacks, they are going to periodically do more damage. The more assault attacks you can chain, the more damage you will do. Okay, so I'm going to take out, well, I mean, it should take out that wolf in one shot. So you see link times one. It's going to continue to ramp up in power. Now, I don't know what the percentage is as of right now, but it does period like periodically continue to get stronger and stronger and stronger. This is probably going to go way too fast. <laughs> Damn, shit for 11k, uh, which that's fine. Nope, we're linking assaults. Let's do it. So in theory, uh, if you continue to link the assault here, I want to I want to stay. So if you push stay, that's just to mess with your rotation. It'll still keep your links going. So actually, if I could get Tortellini to attack. There we go. Okay. So Tortellini did 11k last hit. So in theory, she should do more on this one because last time she did, I think it was link times two. So now it's link times four. She should, in theory, be able to do more damage. 12k. So, you saw right there that she went from 11k to 12k, which did show the increase in damage. Again, that's how links work, whether you're doing it on assault, whether you're doing it on breaks. It's the same thing. The only ones that don't link are basic attacks. Those do not link. So, I hope that you found this video somewhat informational. Like, it's not... I don't really have to go too much in detail for linking attacks um, as to what they do. But as for strategy purposes, you want to try to kill the enemies that are going to attack first so you can continue to link your attacks. As you saw, that wolf was set to attack and break up my links because if an enemy attacks, he breaks your link. So if you attack the enemy and kill that enemy, you can continue going on the link as long as your characters are still going in turn so if so the idea is to continue going more and more now if your characters have a fast speed they can have the opportunity to attack multiple times which i've done in the past it just depends on the enemy speed now we don't have enemy stats to take a look at but you can kind of tell if the character speed is is outspeeding the enemies by a good amount if the if your character is going more than once in the timeline that you see above in combat so i i hope that you found these tips helpful if you did give it that thumbs up leave a comment down below let me know what you guys want me to cover and i will do my best to get to that thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it stay cool guys